All right, well, today we are trying an engineering project with help from our kitchen pantry scientists, new STEAM lab for kids' books. Liz Heineke is here to show us how to make pop-up books and cards. Liz, tell people what STEAM is for people who don't know. STEAM is science, technology, engineering, art, and math. That's those in the right in, order. Right? But yes, and uh, my book, I, I love art. It's really art forward, so really art focused. And this is one of my art slash engineering projects. But before we start this, I want to mention the um, Science Museum of Minnesota has a great engineering exhibit going on right now, so you should definitely well, go check it out. I saw they have a cool uh, movie, too, yeah. at the Omni Theater. Yeah, so, so go, cool. go check it out. But if you want to do some steam at home, all yeah. you need is some paper glue, you're set, okay? All right. So pop-up books are engineering, because kids have to figure out what kind of paper to use for different folds they make. They have to figure out how to glue it into books, and they have to kind of design their projects. So I'm going to show you hmm. guys two kinds of folds that pop-up book engineers use. Okay. okay. And I quickly want to show you this. So Robert Sabuda is one of the wow, most famous um, pop-up artists today. That's and incredible. he makes these incredible oh books. But I would recommend like having your kids get out some pop-up books and sort of one way to learn engineering is to sort of observe what other people have done. Sure. So we don't have to do it that intricately. Do no, we? Okay. we are going to learn two kinds of folds today. The first one is called a V fold. Now my daughter made this. Can you see how oh, this cute. eye yeah. opens up and closes? That's cute. And yeah. It says I am watching you. Yeah, Very so cute. Nice. I know she's Very so good. clever. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to make a V fold, all you do is you take a piece of paper. Here. You want to try it, Esme? Esme is sure. Do it. Okay. The least I was voted least crafty in okay, first grade. Okay, that's okay. Anyway. You're just gonna make an angle cut in the paper like that. So start kind of a little further up. Yep. Just go ahead, cut in. You really can't make mistakes, and paper's cheap, right? So kids can just try this. Okay. Now, I'm gonna open it up, and I'm gonna kind of fold this out. You see how I'm doing that? This is how she made the eye. Mm -hmm. And this takes a little practice. Easy. So, yeah. So then when they pop I it, I did it. Yeah, it, it moves. <laughs> it moves. Take okay. that, first grade voters. So that's cool. That makes things move in an arc like this, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah. All right. You can Great. also do something called a fold that they use, and you can kind of see a fold right here. Okay. So, so, yeah. so oh, that's I'll so let you cute. guys hold this. Isn't this cute? So all you do to make a fold, Matt, do you want to try this yeah. one? Yeah. Oh, just make two parallel cuts in right. a piece of paper. You know, so parallel the, means right next to each other. Little, yeah, just like that. You're cutting a little notch. Yep, there you go. You cut a notch. Okay, now open it up. Yes, ma'am. All right. Now we're going to pop it. We're going to fold it out like this. Okay. So now, when it's closed, it looks like this, right? Go ahead and open it up. It uh, pops up, and you can put, you can you see want whatever you want. So, oh. like, Jason has a flower. There was a little smiley face That's somewhere fine. that we lost. Smiley so, so you just right glue, there it is. You just glue it on there. You can make trees, you know. And kids can make multiple layers, glue multiple things on. Um, yeah, when we were photographing my book last summer, That's my fun. photographer, Amber, made this awesome That's person. That's pretty good. So cool. you just take a notebook. And you put these little folded pieces of papers into it. So it can just be a little cheap composition yeah. book or anything from Target. And, and what a great card, too. I mean, I, you know, who yeah. would oh, want yeah. this for Mother's oh, Day? You don't, yeah. Need, yeah. This would just be you don't have to spend I love it. $15 What's on cool a pop up What's cool about this, card. Liz, is I'll say, like, my boys don't love art, but this idea of adding that engineering component right. to it. You can trick them. You can trick them into <laughs> liking totally, it. Totally, totally. All about that. Yeah. Totally. Uh, really cool. Liz has all these sorts of ideas in her book. Also on her website, kitchenpantryscientist.com. Go to wcco.com slash links and we'll get you there. Liz has great books, all of these books. You can find them all on Amazon and on her site. Yeah, too, I brought so. Matt some weather experiments this morning. Thank you, Liz. Yay. That's good. <laughs> all right, well